Jag brukar det till Hawks. Vessels on strike, Kadir. Okay. Down the wicket, and it's goal, oh, goal, what a catch! That's a magnificent catch by Imran Khan. That ball was hit very firmly. Imran Khan didn't really get that far off the ground, but it stuck. That was great judgment by the Pakistan captain at mid-off, and that was hit with great power by Kepler Vessels. He was looking to hit the ball over the infield, and Imran getting up off the ground, it would have been difficult to judge because he is looking into the vast outer crowd, and it's not easy to pick them up down there. And that's the end of a very good innings by Kepler Vessels, but that's the breakthrough that Pakistan wanted in the 36th over. Australia now 4 for 138. The Pakistanis uh, have decided that Abdul Qadir is going to bowl the last ones and last overs. Inside edge and the ball bobbing down by the stumps there. No, he's gone. It's gone. It's dislodged the leg stump bail. A drive attempted there by Smith and the ball bobbing back onto the stumps. And so he's out bowled by Kadir. And I think that was the wrong one, Tony, that Smith didn't pick. He was a little unlucky. He drove the ball onto his foot and it rebounded back onto the stumps. And that's an ounce of luck for Pakistan and for Abdul Kadir. So certainly paying dividends, bringing Kadir on at this stage of the game and Smith out without scoring. And suddenly a slump by Australia. Hooks has been there for quite a while now. It's really up to him to force the pace. He really has to push this scoring rate along. Hooks using his feet. Imran won't quite get there. Ball just falling between Imran and Mansour. Another oh, good job that Hooks is as strong as he is because he really didn't uh, hit that at all. He miscued it completely. A wrong one spinning away from him. My thinking is they'll need around about 240 to be safe. It's lofted away. Imran is under it and comfortably takes the catch as Rodney Marsh picks out the Pakistan captain perfectly. Well, this was a case of Hobson's choice, really, for Rodney Marsh. He had to go for the bowling. And Kadir is proving a very tricky proposition to get away. Interesting to see a leg spinner finishing a match off as the key bowler for Pakistan. And Marsh hit that pretty well. It's a big ground here at the MCG, and he went straight into those cavernous hands of Imran Khan. And a comfortable, sure, safe catch it was. So Marsh is out. And the total six for 172. And there's a chance David Hooks has gone well and truly stumped. And that's a vital wicket for Pakistan. Oh, my word. This was a surrender. It was an enormous surrender. Hooks had made up his mind before Kadir let the ball go. He advanced, he charged. The ball wide of the off stump as Kadir saw him coming. Put it wider. Hooks missed it by a mile. Was out by a mile. And so the last hope of Australia really escalating their total gone now as Hooks finds himself astray and far from home as Barry whips the bales off. Seven now for 178. Rodney the Hogg, the man at the crease, and he's not there for long. Very quickly caught and bowled by Cardia, and Cardia gets his fifth wicket of the innings. And a remarkable performance from the little leg spinner in a one-day game. Five for 33, his figures. He's on a hat-trick as Hogg pushed forward defensively, pushed too hard. And Cardia, following through, catches it elatedly, does a tumble.